Okay, this is take two on this. I, I tried it yesterday and my mic failed and my autofocus failed, which is what's happening to me right now. Um, maybe I'll shut the servo. There we go. And I'm just going to go through, I'm going to do something a little different, go through my display cases and what's on my wall here. Um, some of them are fancy, some of them not so fancy, but, uh, you know, that's that's how it works with my display. I just put up what I like. Here we have the Sanford and Son, <laughs> Stephens and Son, but I think it's meant to look like Sanford and Son GMC. We got the nice... Uh, Z car here. I love that color and there goes my focus. Yeah, I'll definitely have to shut the servo off uh, Let me let it focus ba, ba, ba. There we go. Let's shut the servo off. I might get a little out of focus because I'm gonna leave it on the same focus But whatever uh, I just like the look of that cougar. That's why it's there I found this uh, Zamac car in a vintage toy shop and open that blister pack the front axle is a little bent I'm bummed out about that like the flames on that Ford Nice pink Nova here. Got the uh, Bone Shaker in the green color, the Ford Fairlane, which I like the color. I'm not really crazy about the stripes, but whatever. Uh, nice yellow Lotus and stock car Camaro here with the red lines. Look at that, I got another one of these Bone Shakers. I'm gonna, I got another instance of this too, by the way. I, I had no idea I had two of those. Got this Camaro, Camaro. Got this Cobra here that uh, my daughter broke the windshield when it was. I've had this thing since the last time I collected Hot Wheels. I, you know, so it's been it's decades old for my collection. I, it's one of the few I held on to when I got rid of all that stuff. And I'm gonna have to do some surgery and replace that windshield. I'm not gonna drill the rivets though, so that's why I haven't done it yet. Nice looking little lowrider General Motors uh, surf truck. The Matchbox hearse I had to have just because of my dark humor. Nice little Ford here. First red line here. Uh, it's not in too bad a shape, especially since the price was right. Uh, let's see if I can find the focus. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, I got it cheap at, at the, I'm gonna go out of focus for a second. Silhouette, <laughs> that's cause I'm senile and forget the names. I got it cheap at a vintage toy shop in Alameda. So the price was right. Um, let's find the focus one more time. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's see if it'll stay in focus. I like autofocus better. This lens is kind of slow though. BMW is nice. I love the look of this Porsche 356. Oh, it went out of focus. All right, let's shut the, maybe I'm too close. There we go. Okay, VMW or VMW, Volkswagen, <laughs> I get all my German cars wrong. Volkswagen, Carmen Ghia, I think that's called a Type 32. Nice square body here. Nice Camaro, love the look of that car, love it. This one too, I know it's a regular series car, but I, just the flat black, it's just so unusual. Got another Nova wagon. Uh, we got the Bluesmobile, yeah. It's, uh, how's it go? We got a full tank of gas, a half pack of cigarettes. Uh, it's night, 200 miles of Chicago worms. I am sure I messed that quote up, but I love it. And nice GTO with an awesome color. Love, love, love the Specter of Flame color on that. Got a, uh, a shoebox Chevy with a good flame job. I love this cute little Mazda. This is the car everybody's been clamoring over, except for the hideous pink one. That's the Red Lion Club Nissan, which was the only one out of the bunch I wanted, although I kept two. I love the look of this <laughs> little uh, Airstream. Next Cadillac. That's probably going to come out of the collection when a cooler car comes. I love this little Real Riders Ford and the little Volkswagen bus. Uh, Matchbox Camaro. We got another shoebox. We got a treasure hunt Camaro, but not the treasure hunt Camaro. Just, uh, in fact, one that I think looks better than the one everybody pays hundreds of dollars for. Here's one that's an instance of a car. Get focus. Here's one that's an instance of a car I have more than one of as well. Didn't realize it. It's a GTO wagon um, in purple. I love the look of that Flowmaster Cuda. That is one of my favorite cars as far as the looks. Um, we got the um, post office machine here. I can't think of the name of right now, but whatever. It's another one of my red lines. 57 Chevy. Love this Ferrari, too. Great colors. Great casting. Like the colors of the purple sedan delivery here, too. Another General Motors product. I wish Hot Wheels would make a red Alfa Romeo like that, but, you know, whatever. Love the casting. In fact, 
There was a time not long ago when I was single that every time I would see one of these cars on eBay in real life, the real car, I would place a bid. And it would be a low ball bid, but, you know, if I hit the low ball bid, I, I was a winner as far as I was concerned. I'd pick it up, uh, but no, I never won one. Uh, this little Volkswagen, you know, I liked it when I saw it online. I bought it on eBay and I got it here. And I'm not really crazy about it in person. It just doesn't look as good as I thought. And then on top of that, the, the axles on these are just, I mean, it looks like it sits, look at that. It looks like it sits like, like it's got a broken axle. I'm too close. Let me get far away so it focuses. Looks like it sits like it's got a broken axle unless I wiggle it around just right to where it sits the right way. I don't know. Another looking, good looking Camaro, Spectra Frost. And you look at my collection, you think I'm a Camaro guy and I'm not really. This is a nice older Hot Wheel that I pulled out of a blister pack from the Vintage Toy Show, Toy Store. Um, another 356 that I like. I love the Moon Eyes Bug. El Segundo pickup truck. This is another one from the first time, well, the second time I collected Hot Wheels from a couple of, uh, you know, when I was in my 20s, basically. A couple decades ago, and I've held on to it, and I love the little fair lady here. That Cobra, also another one I've held on to for a long time. I was a Cobra guy for a long time. I remember when these Chevys were on the road on a regular basis. I'm that old. Spectra Frost Ford. To me, the wheels on this Avanti are a little too big, but I like the casting, so it's there. And this thing, oh my God, with the bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum number on the side, with no number, whatever. Nice little Jaguar. Even with the plastic base and the, and the you know, tampoed headlights. I wish they'd painted the tail lights, but maybe I'll detail that car since it's a mainline car. Another one of those Carmen Gias. It's really sharp looking. Another one of those wagons. This Ford. Oh my. I also remember when these were. In fact, I my grandmother on my dad's side. I was going to try to open the hood. There we go. Look at the detail in there. Look at the detail in there. He says, as it's not focused and there's not enough light. But whatever. Uh, yeah, my grandmother had a car like this. That's a nice little Johnny Lightning example. And uh, AMX. Another one from remembering from my childhood. I, mean, I never saw a pink one like that. In fact, I never knew anybody who had an AMX, but my uncle had a Javelin. And that was pretty close. That Porsche 914. What we used to call the poor man's Porsche. Another bone shaker, my favorite color of the bone shaker and favorite Tampo system. There is a uh, Mystery Models Camaro. There is a little car that I pulled out of one of those truck packs that I love the car so much that I paid the money for the pack and got rid of the truck and kept the car. That little Toyota, that's a, that's a sharp looking car. I also remember these rolling around the streets on the regular. Man, that's I would love to have a car like that in real life. In fact, my aunt had a similar car to that for a while. And this Ford with the, uh, yeah, you see the engine through the roof. <laughs> I forgot what kind of Ford this is. And it doesn't say. It says made in Malaysia. It says eight crate. Anyway, up here we have another Spectra Frost car. And yeah, my, my memory goes, I'm old. What can I say? This is a Hudson Hornet. I should have known that. My kids watch cars all the time. Hudson Hornet. I have the, the cars example over on my other shelf. Uh, this is James Bond's car. We have a nice Vega. Also remember those on the road. Another nice looking Ford. Although that one might come out of the case when I get a better car too. Another Nova Wagon. Love that skyline with the primer paint job. That just, that's awesome. Uh, mystery models. Um, um, Berton, no, what the hell is this? Uh, it is a, oh, come on, mask. do it fast. Lancia, yeah, yeah. Lancia, brain fart. Anyway, I saw one of those in real life in Santa Barbara at a car show, it was awesome. This Studebaker pickup truck, this thing, oh my. Oh, out of focus again. This thing looks so freaking good, and I have the red line example, which I'll I'll detail further in another video, especially since I can get to the focus right now. There we go. Anyway, back to this. Uh, and I'm going to, sorry for the no edit, but I, I got to do this quick. I did it last night and it didn't work, and so now I'm doing it again. 
We got the 25th 25th uh, anniversary Nomad. We got a uh, Auto World um, limited edition what Miho or something like that GT. We got a Mazda Repu. We got another Mustang that might come out when I get a better car. We got a Redline Demon. We got the Zamac Firebird that's just awesome. We got this little uh, Datsun or Toyota? Datsun, yeah. Little Datsun truck. That thing, I got some decals. Got some BRE decals. I might just make a BRE tribute to that. Another Nova, uh, nice looking. I paid a little too much for this, but well, whatever. I, I don't care. I like how it looks, a little Z car. Sorry about the focus going all over the place, but if I don't put it on autofocus, it will be out of focus for a long time because I won't stay next to the, anyway. Another Chevy, California Special Mustang, a Far Out Galaxy, got a hot heap, got a nice looking skyline that needs some better wheels. Moon Eyes Van, that goes with a pair of vans that I bought. The other one looks like the 70s flaming van. Uh, nice Ferrari. Matchbox Cadillac, we got the paddy wagon. Got the low rider longboard uh, Chevy pickup truck. Another one people are clamoring over, which I just bought loose on eBay just because I like the look of it. And that is the Super Treasure Hunt. Um, we had another bone shaker. You know, we've got too many bone shakers in here. Chrysler Turbine. This is, I love, the, I wish they, even if it weren't a turbine, I wish they produced this car in mass quantities. You know, even with a gasoline engine, because that's a looker of a car. I wish they had a kit car like that. I'd, I'd buy an old frame on car to make a kit car. Look at this. This is a... Chrome 442, since I can't afford the, I can't even afford the the police cruiser conversion 442. In fact, I'm sorry for the no edit, but I have a police cruiser. My office is a mess. I just showed you my floor, and it's a, it's a hood opening beater of an example. So that I will be buying the supplies for to turn convert that, and that will be future video. My dad had a Galaxy just like that one. My mom used to call it the police car, and um, it, even though it was a coupe, so coupes don't really make good police cars. I had to make a quick edit there because I paused too long. This is a mainline car, that Dodge is nice. This is the flat black, no flames Batmobile that is the Walmart only car in the States, but I bought it in Colombia at Exido. Here's the second one of those GTO wagons. Another shoe box. That one will probably come out of the collection uh, when I get another cool car in here. That's another nice looking um, 510 Bluebird. Spectre Frost Mustang. Nice looking Alpha. I'm in love with that casting. This is a um, Color Changers uh, Camaro that I found in Colombia. I love the look of it. Black with the flames. I don't like it when it changes colors, so I try to keep it the same temperature. Another looking, good looking flame car here. A DeLorean that I customized just like a YouTuber Bare Metal HW did with the steel wool and, the, and you know, making the grain in it so that it looks like a, an actual um, stainless steel car. Little red wagon from Johnny Lightning. Little hooligan car that I opened up from uh, the vintage toy store, store. The yellow AMG, which is a newer casting, but I love the look of it. And that one's from the vintage toy store. Yet another Camaro, uh, you know, vintage look to a new car. This Milodon uh, Torino I put in here just because I thought it was funny that when I was in Colombia, I was looking at all the newer cars and this one turned up in the back of a rack and it must have been lost under a shelf for a long time because it was from years before that. The package was beat to death, taped back together and all that. And I picked it up and rescued it. This Vector, I remember when these things were in the magazines all the time when I was a kid. We thought it had to be the impossible car. I think this is the only casting of that car in Hot Wheels. Guillotine, I found that at a uh, gas station when I was taking my kid to uh, drum class. We got this 
I'm thinking I'm too close. There we go. We got this Maverick. I remember when cars like this were on the road too. My dad for a little while was a car salesman for a Ford dealership and I remember seeing those on the lot. In fact, my dad had a demonstrator like that. We got another Camaro, another color changer Camaro, which looks good in black and doesn't look good when it turns maroon. So <laughs> this thing, uh, because I can't afford the red line flamer, I bought this one and uh, you know, it's a newer casting and all, but it's got that same sort of badass flamey look. So I think I might even get away with not buying the red line with that. Another Firebird, Matchbox this time, the Surf Shop V-Dub, which is gonna come out when a cooler car comes. Another red line we got via eBay, relatively cheap because it's got some toning, but there's really no chips on it. Little twin mill. I'm not holding it in front of the camera. <laughs> this is a sloppy video. Matchbox GT40, got a little Triumph, which I think came out of the mystery models. We got the Woody uh, Redline Club, I think, uh, reissue. I'm not sure if it's Redline Club or if it was just something else, but um, yeah, uh, it, it, when I get a real Redline Woody, I will be probably taking that out of the case. Purple Galaxy, not really sure why that's in the case. I don't really like that thing, but whatever, doesn't matter. The Ferrari I love, I'm gonna end up probably swapping the wheels on that thing though, because the, the wheels on it are horrendous. The casting, the colors, all of that, great the wheels what are you thinking another nice looking ford the volkswagen out of the uh, redline set that uh you know i ebayed all the other <laughs> cars and uh, this one didn't sell so i kept it i'm like whatever i like it the hood yet another one of my red lines um that uh that a little bit of toning but no chips and once again, I got it cheap, right? It, it, the way the budget works right now, if I'm gonna buy a red line, I gotta get it cheap. Gotta get it cheap and it can't have chips. Another DeLorean, this one being the uh, Back to the Future flying car. And the one that I always get the name wrong on. This is Lotus Turbine. Yeah, I keep calling it Indy Eagle. Get them mixed up. I'm not my kind of thing, but I got it super, super cheap and it's red line, so mm, there you go. Anyway, so that's what's in my collection. Uh, what's in your collection? Uh, if you like this kind of thing, please uh, click the subscribe. I'll be here hopefully once a week. Every now and again we miss. And uh, until next time, stay weird and stay out of the comfort zones.